Hey there, toy collectors. It's Pinoy Toy Geek once again, and today we are unboxing and reviewing another action figure, and this time we are looking at the Justice League New 52 Cyborg from DC Collectibles, which, as we all know, it was formerly known as DC Direct. Now, this is the new standard packaging for all DC Collectible figures, with a white background and color variation depending on the character's color scheme. So let me give you a 360 degree view and pause for a bit while I take this figure out of the box. So uh, this is the actual figure, very fresh and very new. This uh, star athlete turned superhero Vic Stone is the newest member of the Justice League New 52 and one of the founding members of the team. This figure is based on the design by Jim Lee and storyline by Jeff Johns. And of course, uh, we would also like to thank Brian Fay who did an amazing job in sculpting this figure. The amount of details and the paint job is just amazing. I mean, just look at looking at this figure, it's so sweet and so I don't know, it's just I just love it. So, now uh, let's take a closer look on each detail. Although the costume of Cyborg has evolved since it first came out, I think uh, this Jim Lee version is a super badass action figure because it takes on a more modern and updated look on the costume. This figure uh, stands 7 inches tall and has a metallic grayish blue that simulates his titanium alloy and carbon fiber composite that covers most of its body. I really like the face sculpt and the expression that goes with it in fact, this is the only visible uh, human flesh you can see on this figure. Um, Cyborg's uh, robotic body has a metallic chrome finish with slightly recessed metal plates over his pectorals and shoulder blades. The rib details along the sides of his body, inner thighs and calves are a gunmetal gray color which I think is super cool. The pulsating LED power gauge can be seen in the center of his costume. Now, uh, we all know that Cyborg has the ability to transform, uh, transform parts of his robotics into technologically advanced tools and weapons. So, the coolest thing about this figure is that it has a removable left arm that can be replaced with a sonic uh, cannon disruptor, which comes as an accessory to the figure. So, uh, um, if, you, if you put this... Uh, if you uh, put this alternative arm, um, Cyborg has now a different, an alternative look, I mean a different look uh, with the cannon in place, which I think is cooler this way. So I'll probably display this figure with the cannon uh, in place instead of the uh, regular arm. And now uh, for the articulation. Uh, as compared to the other DC collectible figures, uh, Cyborg has the least amount of articulation, uh, probably because of the simulation of the metal plates that are pieced together to form his body armor. He only has the uh, neck articulation, so it moves left and right, uh, the shoulder joint articulation, the hip joint articulation, and lastly, the knee joint articulation. So that's it. Nothing else. So I guess the downside for this figure is that posing is very limited. So there's not much, uh, you can't do a lot much when it comes to posing and, you know, playing with it. But overall, uh, I think this figure uh, is, it is still highly recommended. I would still recommend this figure. And this figure will make a great addition in completing your Justice League New 52 team lineup. So uh, pick this one up. Um, it's highly recommended. So I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, if you enjoy my review, please don't forget to click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow my collection on Facebook. Just type in www.facebook.com slash PinoyToyGeek. So once again, thank you for watching, Toy Collectors. Have a great one. Bye. Bye-bye.